Salutations everyone, this is Brennan Joseph with Varanair, making science, technology, engineering and mathematics in aerospace viral. So please like and share this video wherever you share cool stuff. And without further ado, let's jump into today's episode. In today's episode, we'll be comparing the two giants of the drone industry, the quadcopter versus the fixed wing aircraft. So please stay tuned. Before we can compare the two, we have to first understand what is a quadcopter and what is a fixed wing aircraft. For today's comparison, we'll be using quadcopters, which is one of the most popular forms of a multi-rotor. And a quadcopter is defined as a unmanned helicopter having four rotors. Now, what is a fixed wing aircraft? A fixed wing aircraft is a flying machine such as an airplane or an aeroplane, which is capable of flying using wings that generate lift caused by the aircraft's forward airspeed and the shape of the wings. Now that we know what is a quadcopter and a fixed wing aircraft, let's dive a little deeper and learn more about the two. Let's first start off with multi-rotors. According to DroneDeploy.com, multi-rotors make up 97% of the drone mapping market, which is one of the largest markets in the drone industry. Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages compared to a fixed wing aircraft. Multi-rotors have great maneuverability compared to fixed wing aircraft. Their vertical takeoff and landing abilities give them an amazing advantage, in especially in the drone mapping market. The price gap between fixed wing aircraft and multi-rotor aircraft is enormous. Fixed wing aircraft usually go for 7 to 10 times more than a multi-rotor aircraft. Multi-rotors and quadcopters are usually more compact than a fixed wing aircraft, with foldable wings and higher payloads. Multi-rotors and quadcopters are also easier to use compared to their fixed wing counterparts. Now let's take a look at some of the disadvantages that multi-rotors have against fixed wing aircraft. Multi-rotors usually have a shorter range because they're limited by their low battery life. Multi-rotor aircrafts have less stability than fixed wing aircrafts. They're more susceptible to high winds compared to their counterpart. Now let's focus on fixed wing aircraft. Outside of the drone mapping application, fixed wing aircraft first propelled the hobby and drone industry and is still one of the most loved areas of the hobby and industry to this day. Let's see some of the advantages that fixed wing aircraft have over their multi-rotor counterpart. First off, they have significant range. They can fly a lot longer compared to drones that are limited to their battery life. Fixed wing aircraft have greater stability compared to multi-rotor aircraft. Fixed wing aircraft do a lot better in the wind because of the design and shape. Fixed wing aircraft have a safer recovery. Fixed wing aircraft can glide in case of an emergency. Also, fixed wing aircraft has a better linear flight advantage. Fixed wing aircraft, since it's more aerodynamic, he has less resistance, which needs less battery. Now let's see some of the disadvantages that fixed wing aircraft have in comparison to multi-rotor aircraft. Fixed wing aircraft require a larger takeoff and landing area. Another disadvantage that fixed wing aircraft have in comparison to multi-rotors is that fixed wing aircraft is a lot harder to fly. They have a major learning curve compared to a multi-rotor aircraft. Let's take a look at this figure from DroneDeploy.com that compares the two. It's fun making these videos, so if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video to make STEM aerospace videos like this viral. I thank you all for viewing today's content, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.